Hey folks, uh, this is Mr. Jordan here, and uh, this easy statistic lesson is so easy and fast, you're probably going to get two of them on this one here. So, anyways, uh, sampling distribution, here we go. Uh, let's see. Uh, definitions, uh, a parameter is a number that describes the population, and the parameter is some fixed number that we usually don't know. Uh, because it represents the entire population. It's hard to get the entire population, so we're going to get what is called a statistics in just a second. So we use um, uh, this mu. Um, it looks like an M with a longer tail on the left. Uh, this mu uh, 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 characteristic for the mean population, for the mean of the population, okay? So a statistic is a number that describes a sample. And the value of the, of the statistic is known when we have taken a sample, but it can change from sample to sample. In fact, it always changes from sample to sample. And we use a X bar for the mean of the sample. So if you ever see X bar, that's the mean of the sample. If you ever see mu, that's the mean of the population. And we often use statistics to estimate our unknown parameter. And our parameter, remember, is our population, you guys. That's what it says right here, okay? So we use stats to estimate parameters. So sampling variability represents uh, the value of statistics, and it varies from sample to sample. One sample will, will give you a different yield than another sample. So for example, here's making money. Uh, this is example uh, 9.1 on page 488. Uh, the mean income of a sample of households uh, contacted by the current population survey was, um, uh, see this says X bar, so that's the sample mean. $57,045. The number 57,045 is, is called a statistics because it describes um, uh, this one current population survey sample. The population that the poll wants to draw a conclusion about is 106 million U.S. households. And so the parameter of interest is the mean income of the, all the households. So the parameter is the whole population, you guys. And we'll, we usually don't know the value of the parameter, almost always, so we do um, uh, um, a sample, which is a statistics. Remember, statistics comes from samples, and parameters come from populations. Okay, do you believe in ghosts? Woo! Uh, let's see, so this is example 9-2 on page 488. I know Mr. Malm believes in ghosts, by the way. The Gallup poll asks a random sample of 515 U.S. adults whether they believe in ghosts. One of the respondents, uh, of, of the respondents, I'm sorry, 160 said, yes, I believe in ghosts. So the proportion of the sample who say they believe in ghosts is 160 over 515. Notice this is P hat, you guys. This little P hat means it's a sample proportion. If the P hat, if the hat wasn't there, it would be the population proportion. Anyways, this sample proportion is 31%, 0.31. The number 0.31 is a statistics, and we can use it to estimate the proportion of all U.S. adults who believe in ghosts. And all U.S. adults who believe in ghosts would be our parameter of interest. Alrighty, so we're going to read the paragraph in the middle of the page. So here we go. Uh, we use uh, P. Remember, P doesn't have a hat right here. So we use P to represent the population proportion. The sample proportion, P hat, estimates the unknown parameter P. Based on the sample survey in 9.2, we might conclude uh, that the proportion of all U.S. adults who believe in ghosts is 31%. But that would be a mistake. After all, a second random sample of 515 adults would probably, most probably, yield a different value of p hat. So sampling variability strikes again. All right, so there's a second lesson I am sure that follows this, but if you're in my class, I would assign that as your homework.